now in Hong Kong with an update on all of that. Hi, good to see you. Hi, Robin. Good to see you. You know, Hong Kong has been battling this virus since January with the cancellation or the suspension of the travel bubble. It's just another setback due to the spike in cases. On Sunday, Hong Kong reported 68 new cases of the coronavirus, the highest rise in Sunday. Of the 68 cases, 61 are locally transmitted cases. That may seem insignificant when you compare it to Europe or the situation in the United States, but it's significant here in Hong Kong because in recent weeks, the daily new case count had been in the single digits. Moreover, we have health officials here in Hong Kong saying that there is an increase in untraceable cases here in the territory. And that means the silent sort of chain of transmission is embedded here in the city. Now, the Hong Kong government is responding. Um, it's identified clusters related to dance studios across the territory. So dance studios and party rooms have been closed until Thursday. Also, there is now, for the first time during this pandemic, a mandatory testing scheme in place. Anyone who has visited one of these infected dance studios since the beginning of the month. They have to submit themselves to a COVID test. Failure to comply means that they will have to pay a penalty. And on top of this, that much anticipated travel bubble between Hong Kong and Singapore was due to kick off on Sunday. That has been suspended for two weeks. On Sunday, we heard from the Commerce Secretary Edward Yao. This is what he had to say. But in the light of the recent upsurge of local cases, we have decided together with Singapore government that will defer the launching of the air travel bubble by two weeks. Now, under the um, agreed arrangement, we have got certain sort of mechanism and dialogue on this, but we decided in the interest of uh, making a good start and also in the, in the interest of avoiding any confusion to passengers, we have decided to put this back for two weeks. So the Hong Kong-Singapore travel bubble has been suspended for two weeks, and the onus is on Hong Kong to improve its COVID situation. Again, on Sunday, the territory reported 61 new locally transmitted cases of the virus. In Singapore, they reported zero new local cases of the virus. Back to you.